and I'm standing here at the Ihilani Resort near Honolulu. What's the number one product in Hawaii? If you guessed tourism, you'd be right. But number two is agriculture. And now the two have come together, and they call it agritourism. Not just here, but all over the world. Located in Red Hill South, in Victoria, Australia, the Montalto Vineyard and Olive Grove offers more than just wine tastings. The 50-acre property has more than 90 species of native birds and animals live in the wetlands. But perhaps the most interesting aspect of this vineyard are its permanent outdoor sculpture collection. This isn't just a wine tour, but an art tour. When it comes to the rarest of delicacies, the white truffle, the Piemonte region of Italy, near Turin, is the place to go. Put on your hiking shoes and go hunting with the pros. With an experienced truffle hunter, it's a real workout keeping up with the trained dogs as they race up hills and down steep ravines, sniffing and rooting out these subterranean morsels. But the rewards are worth it. Nothing else imparts the pungent and earthy tones to pasta, cheese, or come to think of it, any dish as the white truffle. But you might find an argument about that in Hawaii. That's where you'll find the surfing goat dairy in Maui. This is all about the art of making gourmet goat cheese. Located on 42 acres of pasture land, guests can visit with and feed the more than 80 animals that populate this unique dairy. As you can see, agritourism brings people together, gets them up close and personal with the process of food. I guess you could say it keeps them down on the farm, and they have fun at the same time. 